Hi, this is Charity, and welcome back to the 24 while 24 checklist challenge. This is based on just having base game, no mods, and limited cheats only to be able to satisfy the requirements of the challenge. Now, a link to the rules will be in the description below and a playlist for all the videos in the series. Liberty, what do you want? Okay, she's just saying that she had a spectacular time for her friend hangout. Okay. Anyway, we do have some dragon fruit finally, so I will be able to plant those. We have four. So we need to get our money back because unfortunately last time we lost all of our simoleons because we could not get a plant sim in time. And the plant sim challenge is going to be a hard one. So right now we need to focus on gardening and we did have a challenge from last time we spun the wheel that we need to go to someone's house and steal something. So we will be able to visit a house today. Well, we have 6,654 simoleons from our plants that we just harvested. That's great. Oh no, Zero doesn't like candiness. Uh, that's bad. But I guess that's just the way it goes. Now, in order to steal something, I have to have the mischief skill. But I think you can steal some things without even having the mischief skill. And I'm going to say it has to be inside someone's house. So it can't be outside the house. Okay, you have a crush on Ezekiel Ryan? Sure, go for it. Liberty. Keep forgetting her name is Liberty. Okay, we'll try to build our mischief skill a little bit. Because I think if we do that, we might have a chance to steal something that is actually worth something. Okay, well, this is not going over well. This person is not going to like me because I'm being mischievous and I keep shocking myself. But at least I have level two of the mischief skill. Okay, I think I'm going to stop now. No, you're not going to steal my garden salad. You're not allowed to take it. Go home. No, I don't want her to hang out. I want her to leave. How do I get her to stop taking my garden salad? How about just taking away my front door? That might work. Okay, good. She said she has to really go now. Sims should not be able to go in your house just because I'm talking to them. They should be forced to stay outside unless I invite them inside. Okay, here we are at Johnny Zest's place because I know that he might have some cheap stuff that I can potentially steal. He does have some gnomes out here, which, yeah, these are actually expensive for things that you can steal at a low level. But I, I think it needs to be inside the house. Otherwise, it's cheating. Okay, what can I steal? Oh, the lamp. Okay, I'm, I'm taking your lamp, Johnny. Sorry. And that's it. We succeeded. Okay, I'm going to invite Travis over because I think that we need to get started on a family. But I want to have a science baby because if we get zero pregnant, there's some things that she can't do. So she might not be able to finish a challenge. And unless we have two adults in the household, I don't think that we are going to be getting pregnant. Okay, the only thing is we aren't really that good friends with Travis. We have more romantic relationship than we do friendship. Okay, I don't even think we can ask to have a science baby yet. Oh, ask to have science baby is now under the relationship menu. It's no longer under friendly deep thoughts. Okay, so they just moved it. That's why I couldn't find it. So let's ask him to have a science baby. And yes, we're going to have a science baby. Okay, it's a girl and her name is Sheena. What, twins? Are you kidding me? This happened to my other Let's Play. I'm having a science baby. I have no fertile traits. Why am I getting twins? <sighs> Kaylin. Okay, so I actually do not get credit for this, for the challenges. So even though I had twins, I don't get credit for it. So I don't know why I'm just getting so unlucky with twins. Okay, we have twins. 
joy. I swear she did. No, she does not have the fertile trait. We are, of course, not on ley line because this is base game. Why am I having twins all the time without even trying? I bet when I actually go to have twins and I get that challenge that I will not have twins. This is just my luck. Okay, well, I have to find a place to fit twins in this house now. The only reason why I wanted to do a science baby is to start on the family so that just in case something happens to zero, <laughs> that I have a backup plan. All right, well, I really do not have space in here, but I decided we're just going to go with move objects and I don't care. <laughs> So, we have move objects on. When I get to infants, I'm going to have to expand the house anyway. But I thought maybe I can fit these in here without having to expand the house yet. And that'll just last for one day. Once I have infants, this whole thing is going to have to expand. All right. Well, now that we've done that. I think the next step is probably to change my aspiration. I don't need this aspiration. In fact, I don't even think I can use it. What about fortune? That might be a good aspiration to have for now because it gives me a direct deposit each week based on my household funds. I think that's a good one to work towards. Okay, we'll work on getting our gardening up to level 10 because I think that is going to be a worthwhile endeavor. Okay, I think it's graft the snapdragon onto the dragon fruit or vice versa in order to get a cow plant berry. But I think it's better to put the snapdragon on the dragon fruit than it is to put the dragon fruit on the snapdragon. I need to wait until I can take a cutting of this though, otherwise it won't work. All right, that's the end of Sunday, so we get to roll for a reward. Okay, what do we get for stealing something from someone's house? 500 simoleons. Okay, well, that's not nothing. Now the real question, what are we going to do on Monday? Take a selfie at the Forgotten Grotto. Well, this is another easy one. Okay, so we have Monday and Tuesday to do this. We get two days because that's the only option left. I take between one and four days, and we've already done something in four days, three days, and one day. So by default for this challenge, we get two days. But that's good because we will be dealing with twins in the meantime. Okay, it's already the kids' birthdays, but we're going to go collect the plants first. Okay, and we owe 93 simoleons for our bills. That should be doable. Okay, what should I do for my plants? Should I actually fertilize them? Why not? Okay, then all of the dragon fruits that I get are going to be planted until I start making a lot of money. Okay, it's the kid's birthday, so we have to expand this house. I think this front room is going to be my kitchen area, and maybe I'll build a room behind it for the bedroom. Okay, I may have gone overboard, but we have this nice little sitting area with a functional kitchen. We now have a stove as well. And then we have a bedroom with the two cribs and the adult bed. And a bathroom I have to put in a tub because we're going to have infants. So yeah, that's the completed expanded house. And we have a couple more windows on the outside. So it is looking like less of a tiny home and more of an actual home where it has some functionality. So time to age these babies up. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday, Sheena. And Sheena is going to be calm. And since we have base game, they can sit up right away and scoot. Happy birthday. And Kaylin is going to be calm as well. Well, we have two calm infants. Maybe that'll be easy. Who knows? 
All right, we should probably try to complete the quest for today, which means we need to go to the tree. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not the Sylvan Glade. This is the Forgotten Grotto. Well, that's a whole new different story. Um, yeah, I have to get my handiness to level 10 to go to the Forgotten Grotto. I have handiness of one half. Oh, this is going to be fun. I thought this was going to be an easy quest because it was the Sylvan Glade, but no, this is the Forgotten Grotto. This is going to be hard. All right, well, let me get a woodworking table because that might actually help. It's actually kind of cute since I just have base game and I don't have growing together that the little infants are just crawling around. It's adorable. And unfortunately, with growing together, you have to teach them to crawl. And it just takes so long that especially on short lifespan, they basically will never be able to do it. Well, we only have two days to get our handiness level up to 10. And um, yeah, Travis, you can come over and hang out. Maybe he'll take care of the infants. As I was saying, we only have two days to get our handiness up to level 10, which is basically not going to happen. We tried this with gardening and I didn't even get close. I'm still at level nine gardening and she doesn't like handiness, but for some reason she's still not having a problem doing it, which is kind of weird. Oh, did I say no to dislikes handiness? I'm pretty sure I said yes. Why does she only like fishing and painting and not dislike handiness? That is a mistake. Okay, I fixed that. However, that might be a bad thing because this is going to be really hard if she hates handiness. Let's see, can we ask Trevor? We can, we can ask Trevor to feed us. Well, that's easy. Oh, he didn't do it. Come on. Go feed the baby. All right. Stop talking to Travis. Not Trevor. He's Travis. I'm going to have to remember that. Okay. So you should go to sleep. Okay. So Travis fed and put the kids to bed. So I just need to work on my fun, which is going to be hard. And we like fishing and painting. Okay, this is annoying. She won't do it. I need to get some fun. How do we get some fun? Maybe she likes gardening enough that she can have fun while doing gardening. Okay, and we can we take a cutting? No, these things are taking forever to grow. Why is it taking so long? No, uh, gardening is not very fun. It's only a little fun. Maybe chess? Okay, chess is a little fun, but not very fun. This is never going to work because she doesn't like handiness. Oh, well, I'm going to get to maybe level five handiness, but at least we'll be that much further along for the next time we get this quest. Well, this is taking a long time and I don't have time to do this. Okay, it looks like comedy is more fun than anything else. Okay, if you hate a subject, you can actually read about it and get the skill and your fun will not go down and you won't have any problems with the sim getting really upset about it. So that's a workaround. We're going to have to read books in order to get our handiness skill up. I am still not able to take a cutting. Are these things ever going to grow up? I don't think they are. Okay, we didn't even make it to level five handiness. We only have level three. So that's going to be another thing that we're going to struggle with. So we need to get our gardening to level 10, grow a cow plant, grow a death flower, then also get our handiness to level 10. And then we need to buy a whole bunch of magic beans so that we get the plant sim thing. Oh, this is going to be tough. Okay, so what is our penalty this time for not being able to get to the Forgotten Grotto? Clear all relationships. That's not too bad. That's actually not that bad. Okay, but basically that means that we have no more relationship with Travis. Okay, what impossible task are we going to try this time? No, 
No. Oh, this is so terrible. Have twins or triplets? I already did this and I told you it didn't count. But why? Now I'm going to have four kids and I lost all my relationships. So I have to start over with my relationships, which makes this even harder. Unless I have a baby as a single parent. I think I can do that. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, how long do we have to accomplish this? Four days? All right, all right, that's not so bad. So that's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So this is the last one we will do. Okay, this is actually interesting because now my infants have no relationship with zero. So I think you can adopt them if you can get introduced to them somehow. Only thing is, I'm not sure how to get... Okay. There we go. That works. All right. I just have to do a little bit of adopt as care dependent. Okay. So we have care dependent. Okay. I don't have a way to adopt her. She has no parent. I should be able to adopt her. Okay, there's no way to adopt her right now, at least. I guess I'll worry about that later. We'll put Sheena to bed. We barely know her, so that might be the reason why. I'm just going to go to sleep, and I'll adopt Kaylin when I wake up. Because right now, I am so tired. And why are you putting her down? No. Why? Go to sleep in the crib. Why are infants so buggy? Why are you putting her outside and then going to sleep? Put Sheena to bed and go to sleep. You're going to pass out. Oh, good. It's almost Sheena's birthday. Oh, it's the infant's birthday tomorrow. They're not infants for very long on a short lifespan. I like that. Okay, we unfortunately need to get up. Okay, if I read you a book, do I know you? Okay. No, no, I don't. Okay, so maybe if I coo at zero, I will know her. I don't know how I did it last time. Okay, there we go. All right, we're going to feed you. Are my dragon fruit bugged? I mean, they're just not growing. I don't know why. It takes forever for them to grow. Okay, what I really need is I need enough satisfaction points to purchase the fertile trait. And... That might be difficult to do. So in order to progress in this fabulously wealthy, I need only about 450 or 435 more simoleons. I don't need that much more. Maybe painting will be a good way to get that. She likes painting anyway. Because if I'm going to have twins or triplets, I would rather only have one more child or one more attempt, not multiple attempts. Because if I only get one baby, then I need to try again. And then the more I try, I might fill up my household. And that would be a bad thing. Okay, we have 1,670 satisfaction points. And we need 3,000 points for fertile. Well, if we earn another 15,000 from painting, we can get a significant amount of satisfaction points. And we can also step through all of the aspirations and try and get some. I mean, to be honest, um, I'm not going to worry about saying that, oh, you have to finish this aspiration before you start another one. No, we're not adding more levels of complexity to this. This is hard enough as it is. Okay, let's try to do the painting aspiration because that will actually help. We need to start three paintings while inspired, but she doesn't have to finish them. She just has to start them. So you can start three and finish them later. Okay, now we need to sell three paintings to an art gallery and complete three emotional paintings. We can do the mathematical diagrams. Oh, we need to take a nap, though. It is so hard to keep up with her energy. We might have to go to bed early because we did not finish sleeping last night. Well, luckily, the infants are getting kind of tired anyway, so we're going to go ahead and put everyone to bed. Okay, unfortunately, my dragon fruit has still not grown. 
does it take an entire week for this plant to grow? I know it took a really long time for the apple trees. So maybe that's why it's like that. Oh good, Zero likes gardening. This will make things a little bit easier. To be honest, once she gets level 10 in gardening, I am going to hire a gardener because this takes way too long. Just harvesting will take a long time. Okay, time to feed the babies again. And this time we're aging them up because this is their birthday. Okay, Sheena, happy birthday. I don't need a cake, thankfully. All right, so I've already done the stealing one. So I don't need the kleptomaniac trait anymore. And what I'm going to do is just randomize all traits because I don't want it to be too easy for me. And you're going to be wild. Oh, bonus trait. Oh, a top-notch infant. Okay, I didn't know that was base game. I thought the top-notch infant was part of growing together, but apparently it's base game. Oh, and that That's outfit so is just so funny. Uh, yeah. uh, well, we can have the toddlers have silly outfits. I might do makeovers once they become teenagers. Okay, let's wake up the other kid and we're going to make you a toddler. Happy birthday, Kaylin! And Kaylin is going to be a charmer. Oh, and she immediately takes off all her clothes. Okay. All right. So I have the big happy family aspiration, and I need to spend a thousand simoleons on kid stuff. So I'm going to keep the cribs for now and then go get all of the toddler items that I will need. And we need a potty. I'm going to avoid the high chairs for now. In order to spend a thousand simoleons, that's going to be difficult because I'm not really buying that much. I'll get some blocks. And what else? The Wablet tablet is functional off of the grid. Okay, well, I, if I just get two of those, then that should be enough. But I'm going to get beds. I think beds count, but I'm not sure. I don't really like my options for beds, but, but maybe I'll get this one. Okay, is that enough? No, I need like 15 simoleons more. Okay, maybe a toy box. Okay, there we go. So I can't become a parent yet, but I can go back to my other aspiration. Okay, now that you guys can do whatever you want, I might want to teach you how to use the potty, but we're going to worry about that after I get my other two kids. Well, let's not check the toddler. Let's go back to painting. Okay, you, stop playing with the toilet. Now, if you're tired, you go to bed by yourself. Get down. Why can't you get in that bed? <laughs> There's no reason why you can't get in that bed. Okay, now you can get in that one. Toddler beds are super annoying. For some reason, this part of the bed has to be clear of obstruction. And I don't understand that. So I don't know why, but you cannot play move objects very well with a toddler bed. You can do that a lot easier with an adult bed. But this object cannot go next to a toddler bed, apparently, because it takes up too much room. Okay, can we get in there now? Yes. Okay, can you get in here? Yes. Okay, we're good. So let's do our mathematical diagrams and the little babies will go to sleep. Okay, we only need to start three emotional paintings and then we can finish them later. And the reason why you start them as soon as possible is because you actually can finish them if you're not in the mood but you can't start them. So if you start a painting and you run out of whatever emotion you're painting with, then when you go to start the next one, you won't be able to do it. Okay, now we have 2,735. <laughs> and we just need to get level six of the painting skill. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow morning though. Oh, finally, we have dragon fruit. Okay, yeah, I know. The kids are hungry. I'm going to have to make something for breakfast. Let's make some garden salad. 
I'm going to have to tend to the plants later. Let's make some garden solid first. And of course it's poor quality. Oh no, it's normal. Okay. It looks like poor quality. Maybe it's just because of all the dirty diapers that everything looks stinky. My ice is never running out. I don't get that. I think off the grid is just completely broken, even in base game. Okay, let's harvest these dragon fruits. No, don't take, t don't talk to the kids. Don't pick up the kids. The kids are fine. I will give you guys a bath after I'm done. Okay, so we need to plant something three times. We're going to plant three more dragon fruit. And then we need to weed or water plants ten times, which is easy because I have a lot of gardening to do right now. Okay, now we need to evolve five different plants. Evolving plants is going to be a little bit more difficult because I have not been fertilizing. No, 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 don't take care of the kids. The kids are fine. Oh, I have enough. I have enough. And we get the fertile trait. All right, well, that was easy. Okay, I'm sure it applies to science babies as well. So let's go ahead and take care of the kids since they're a little bit stinky. Going to give Sheena a bath. Hopefully I can do this with science babies because I do not have time to get pregnant and have babies. Okay, Kaylin's turn. No, don't you go splash in the potty. No, no, don't splash in the potty. Get out of there. Okay, I need to splice the snapdragon onto the dragon fruit because I think that's supposed to give you a better chance at a cow plant berry. I'm not sure, but we'll do it that way. Now, whenever you're splicing, you have to make sure you graft your shoot before you take another cutting. Because for whatever reason, when you graft onto a plant, it uses all of your cuttings. And I don't think it gives you any sort of bonus to what you get. Okay, so dragon fruit, cowberry, and snapdragon. Okay, I guess I don't need any of this anymore. And that gives me a lot of satisfaction points too. I got free services, but my gardening is not quite level 10, but I think it will become level 10 once I harvest one more time. So I don't need any more gardening skill Therefore, I will be hiring a gardener. Okay, let's have a science baby. Can we have a science baby? We can't. There's no way to have a science baby as a single parent. Do we have to do it in here? Oh, we have to do it in the phone. Okay, I thought you could click on yourself and do it, but no. All right, we're going to have a science baby. Let's hope we get twins. It's a girl. Well, we're having a lot of girls, aren't we? Alexis. No! Why did I only have one baby? Come on! Why? I had twins and now I only had one baby? I'm fertile. I know that doesn't guarantee you uh, twins or multiples, but come on. Okay, that's three. I still have four more spaces in my household. I have to keep having babies until this works. I hope that Fertile helps with science babies. I know that on Leyline does because I've tested it, but I'm not sure about Fertile. Okay, we'll try again. Okay, we have another girl. Are we ever going to have any boys? This is weird. Okay, Sarah Sparks. No! Why only one? Why only one? That doesn't make any sense. What are the odds? Okay, I want to know what the odds are of me having twins with no fertile trait and then having a single baby with the fertile trait twice. Maybe the science baby with another person is more likely to have twins? Eh, probably not. Maybe it would be nice if we had a father in the picture anyway. <laughs> so, hey, do you want to have a science baby? Right. Um, he can't ask right away. So are you single? Uh, it looks like he's not going to like me anyway. He is single. Okay, apparently sentiments are also base game. 
It's really hard to tell what is base game and what isn't because I have so many packs. But I could have sworn sentiments were part of Snowy Escape, but maybe that was part of the base game update for Snowy Escape and lifestyles are part of Snowy Escape. Okay, can we have a science baby yet? I can ask you to join the household, but I can't ask you to have a science baby yet. Okay, what's wrong with the baby? Okay, you need to be fed, I guess. All right, can we have a science baby yet? Okay, there, we can have a science baby. Okay, let, let's stop feeding the baby. We'll, we'll do that later. <laughs> I'm going to have lots of babies to feed, but let's have a science baby. Hopefully he says yes. Okay, Ezekiel Ryan is going to be our other baby daddy. And come on, we better get twins this time. It's a girl. I'm going to assume my game is bugged. Why am I only getting girls? Esmeralda? No. I'm going to reboot. This is just ridiculous. There's no way. There's no way. Okay, this is my last try. If I do this, my household will be full. And there's going to be no more opportunities for twins or triplets. Unless I start moving kids out, which I kind of consider that cheating. Okay, it's a girl. I don't know what's up with this. I should have had a boy by now. There is something wrong with my game. I mean, I understand the first couple of times I had a science. No, the very first time I had a science baby it was with Travis. And now it seems like I'm only getting girls. I was thinking, well, if I had a baby as a single parent, maybe it's only taking zero's DNA and always giving me a girl because of that. Okay, Matilda, please have twins. Please. No. No twins. I don't get it. <laughs> We're not having any boys. Which, you know, I can kind of accept that. But why are we not having twins? Okay, well, I can't have twins the next time. Because I only have room in my household for one sim. So, I'm not sure how to handle that. I could adopt out the toddlers but that seems wrong to me i should have to take care of all of the babies but this is going to be insane anyway it's it's just going to be insane there's too many babies i could increase the household size but that would require a mod and i was trying to do this without mods well i did not want to do the seven infant challenge with this game but it looks like we're going to do at least the four infant challenge well i can't get rid of the toddlers that would be wrong and so i'm just going to have to accept the fact that we are going to have a ton of babies and we're going to lose this challenge and have to do it again eventually Sending the kids to bed. Well, this has been an experience, and it's just everybody's birthday now. So I've spent all morning trying to feed and change and pay attention to these babies, and now it's their birthday, and they're going to be infants. That's fun. It's also Zero's birthday, but I'm going to let Zero age up on her own. We are not having a party for her. So it's good that she has kids because she's not going to be around very much longer. And that's unfortunate because I've actually made a lot of progress with her gardening. And I haven't been able to buy any seed packets. So maybe when Zero is an elder, we'll focus on buying a whole bunch of seed packets to see if we can get all the seed packets for a plant sim. You guys can go get your own food. Okay, the babies are finally quiet and we're going to have to age them up. So hello to four infants. Okay, Alexis is cautious. And Sarah is calm. And Esmeralda is intense. And Matilda is calm. All right, now we need to get a bunch of cribs in here. Oh, you guys should be fine. I just fed you. Why are you not fine? You're sleepy, go to sleep. But if you're hungry, you gotta wait. Okay, maybe that'll work. I'm not sure if everything will be reachable or not. 
and we have an extra space right here for something else. I don't know what it will be yet, so I'm not going to put anything there. Let's just make sure the toddlers can get into their beds. Okay, you guys are fine. You guys can get up. I don't need you to sleep. Okay, it looks like all of the beds work. Now we just have to worry about taking care of everyone since we have six kids and I can't have any more kids to have twins or triplets until zero dies basically. So this is going to be a problem. Okay, my poor plants out there are probably going to die because the gardener doesn't come on the weekend. So I'm going to have to tend the garden and then harvest everything. Well, I did reach gardening level 10. And something else I just realized is I have to buy a lot of the rare seed plant packets. If I do that, most likely I will get a death flower and a cow plant berry. So maybe I should just do that instead of having to do all of this gardening. And I completed the fabulously wealthy aspiration. Okay, I can buy 50 of these. I'm not going to buy 50 all at once. Maybe I'll buy a few because I do know this will take a lot to get all of the magic beans that I need. Oh, I completed the magic beans collection already? Well, that's fortunate. I don't have a death flower though or a cow plant berry. But I will be able to do the plant sim thing. Well, that's one good thing. I have to... Oh, there's a cow plant berry and a death flower. Okay, well, there we go. We have it all. I need to get this started because if I do happen to roll that particular quest, this will take some time. And I need for it to be planted. And there's the mystical tree. And we will explore the tree. Okay, that gave us the plant sim. Okay, so I cannot eat this though. Even if I had the quest, I need to plant it. Because I might need more than one. In fact, I probably will. Because there's multiple quests involving the plant sim. And I not only have to turn myself into one, I have to turn one of my friends into one, which I got that quest last time and I couldn't complete it because I didn't have this. So if you go and explore the tree again, and why is she taking so long to go over there and plant it? If you go and explore the tree again, you will not get it. You will get something else. And it almost never gives you another forbidden fruit. Come on, stop with that. Go plant it. This is going to be really hard with all of these infants and all of these toddlers. But I just want you to plant the stuff. I got bird of paradise and some orchids. Those will be pretty good. Now, hopefully we do not get the um, penalty of bulldozing the lot. Because if we do, this will be all for nothing. I should actually refrain from saying that because every time I bring up a bad circumstance, it tends to happen. Okay, well, there's that done. So now we must roll for our penalty. Okay, here we go. And what are we going to do? Not bulldoze the lot. Okay, delete all inventories. All right, that's fine. It's a good thing we planted everything. So that doesn't actually matter. Okay, so I did have some dragon fruit in here and I did have some extra magic beans, but they're extras. So that's hopefully fine. We have 37,128 simoleons. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and count all of the books with that since they're in a bookcase. Oh, and then all the toys. So lose the toys. All right. And I don't think anybody else has anything in their inventory since they're toddlers and infants, but you never know. Nope. Okay. Well, everything else can stay. And we have a start on our cow plant. 
and our death flower and our forbidden fruit tree. So we have some other plants around here. I'm going to have to hire a gardener, but hopefully this will be the end of being stuck on things. Um, the only thing that we're going to be stuck on now is we if we get the twins or triplets again, because Zero's birthday is today and she will be an adult and then she needs to be an elder and pass away. And then all of these kids need to become adults or at least one group of them. I guess the toddlers will be first to be adults and then they can try having twins or triplets and I think next time what I'm going to do is try to have babies the natural way well I know that sometimes even when you have a baby through pregnancy you sometimes don't get twins or triplets if you only have the fertile trait and you don't have the on lay line the on lay line is just phenomenal it's a lot trait and it basically guarantees that you're going to get twins or triplets because I've almost never had a single baby with that trait but we don't have that in base game so this is going to be a, a struggle so this is charity thanks for watching